through. Hope you made it through too. Hope you had a good night. And whether you went out, stay in, whatever you did, hope you enjoyed it. Just like if it's a nice bit of toast, cup of coffee. I didn't go mad last night, so let's pop indoors a little bit chilly out here. Let's go pop indoors, have a little chat, finish my toast off. Can't wait, bring on the summer. Barbecue, pool, beers. Pop in, have a talk, have a little chat, mate. Paul, thanks for joining me. <coughs> I didn't realise I've got a bit of a croaky voice. Had a few drinky poos last night. It's uh, 1st of January 2023. Excuse me. I shouldn't talk my mouth all. Excuse me while I'm a bit dry toast. Um, cold toast. Nice cup of coffee. I've got some merchandise available by the way, if you're interested, you might not be interested. I know some people bought some before Christmas, so if you did get some, happy Christmas. Um, thank you for that. And make sure you wear it when we do a live in a, in a week's time, approximately. Um, personally, I bought some Life of John mugs. I know it's sad drinking uh, tea or coffee out of a mug with your own face on it, but there you go. I can't find them anywhere. I think Julian's broke them and not told me, I don't know. I have to have a hunt about it. I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm, I'm down to a standard. It's like come from Lanzarote or something, this one. Well, I'm sorry, because of the lizards. Welcome to 2023. Happy New Year. I hope you had a good one. Now, when I mentioned I went to a party last night, I'm not showing off because, to be honest with you, when you get to my age, and I'm not dissing a party because it was a great party, but I don't care whether I go to parties nowadays or not. Years ago, when I was 20 odd, I had to go out Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Christmas Day, blah, blah, blah. I had to go out, I had to go out. When you get a little bit older, you start gradually, gradually, gradually winding down. And um, I spent a couple of New Year's Eve's indoors before, plenty on TV, have a quiet chat with your family, a drink, and have an early one. As long as, well, say have an early one, get the midnight, see the New Year in, and um, kissing a cuddle and off you, and, uh, <laughs> I was going to say kissing a cuddle and off you go. Kissing a cuddle and uh, happy New Year. But um, yeah, it just happened this year, we got invited to a party, uh, family, uh, family member invited us to a party, we in the house. Um, good man. Took the karaoke machine with me. Um, took me a light at Graham. If you watched me other video that Graham gave me, brilliant, that bright's brilliant. Um, a couple of people trying to get old man, actually, trying to get one off him. Um, I took the karaoke machine. Uh, if you watch the other uh, video, you'll see me talking about karaoke and, and um, music setups and stuff like that. I took the karaoke machine, and for the first time ever, because I bought that as second hand, it was a bit of a pain. It went down quite well. Bit of karaoke, bit of singing. Uh, I'll tell you about that in a minute. So I took the speaker, if you look in the other video, I took the speaker with me, 300 watt. But I think that's, I've read a little bit up on it since then, uh, last night. 300 watt, I think that's peak. I don't know it's 300 watts. And I'll tell you about the other speaker they took. Um, they had another speaker as well, which was like phenomenal. By the way, yeah, still got a tree up. Um, I think it looks pretty. I still got my lights up in there. Um, I'll, I'll take the tree down. I might do that in a minute, actually, but I won't be taking these lights stay up permanent. I don't think I'll take these. Because my lights up the ceiling there, I don't know if I'll take them down. I'll probably leave Naughty Elf up there. I might move him about, but uh, some people like him. I've got to try this bar up, actually, I might do that today. Yeah, karaoke machine. So I took the karaoke machine with my speaker and it went down quite well. It's a pain in the backside. I've got about like 40, 40 CDs. And um, it was dark in the room and you had to get your phone out with your talks and flick through what track, and it sort of puts people off. First time ever yesterday, I was fiddling about down here, getting it ready. First time ever yesterday, I read the actual manual, which is an online manual. You know, it's like, I bought this um, unit second hand off eBay, the karaoke machine. And um, it's got like USB slots at the front and SD card slots at the front. And I read the manual last night, and I think this is how it's gonna go. There's, you haven't got all the controls on the front of the karaoke machine. It's the, it's the vocal style VS1200. You haven't got all the, um, controls on the front of the machine, you need the remote. I haven't got the remote, I've just bought the remote for the VS1 off, off um, the Vocal Star company. So it should be coming through very, very soon. A bit late though, better late than never. But I think this is how it works. I think once I've got the remote, I've got access to more controls. And I think it gives me access, I think there's a feature on there where you can rip the CDs on the USB stick on SD card. I'll probably use the USB. When I say rip, I mean copy, if you don't know what rip means. So this is the plan I've got in my head. Well, I'll tell you now. Mm, that's not bad. 
but it's going down well now because I've a bit of cold, so it's lovely. This is the plan I've got in my head. I think the idea is, from what I gather, from what I've read in the manual, the manual's not brilliant. I think you can put a CD into the machine, but you need a remote, which is coming through. You put the CD into the machine, I'm going to use a USB stick because it's a bit more hardy than a, than a SD card. I'll get a nice large USB stick. And I think you put, from what I gather, you put the... It's quite tidy in it, actually. It's better, it's better. Looking good. I have a couple of glasses on here, but it's looking better over there. All the junk's next door in the other shed. Another video, another story. You put a CD in the machine. You've got more functions on the remote. So what you do, you go onto the remote and you go onto the menu system on the TV. Uh, well, the menu system for the machine, which comes up on the TV screen. And I think you can then copy the CD contents onto USB. I'm hoping, I think how it works is, you don't just do one CD per USB stick. I think you can put all the CDs, as many as you can fit, onto one USB stick. And then I think there's a function where you can create a, a song list from it. Um, from that's what I gather anyway from reading instructions, but I don't know until I actually try it. When I do try it, I'll, I will do a little video. So um, if anyone's out in interest in that type of machine or similar, we, we can work through it together. So what happens is I think you copy the CDs onto a USB stick, all of them hopefully, or as many as will fit on. So you might have one USB or two USB sticks or whatever, and let me have a bit of toast. Then, I think it's a feature, and it enables you to create a playlist, a text file. And I think it does it um, in alphabetical order. So then you take the USB stick or your SD card or whatever to your PC, you print the text file out, do a couple of copies, then you've got a playlist to hand out to people. And the idea is, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm giving people the CDs and they're just like they're looking at the case of going by the numbers and that. But the idea is, when it's got a proper, proper, full playlist, um, Excuse me. You can hand that out to people. I think it's just about 999, 9,999 tracks on one playlist. So I'm hoping you can fit all the CDs on the one USB stick, create a playlist, a text file playlist, and I'm hoping it'll be alphabetical order. And then people can just pick the track they want and you just put the USB stick in. You keep the CDs obviously as backup in case anything goes wrong, or the USB stick makes two copies of what something. I think that's good what's happened. I don't know, yeah, I haven't got a remote yet, it's coming through soon. 1499 plus a bit of postage, so that's not too bad. I should have bought it ages ago. I should have picked the bowl of this karaoke left, right, and centre for different parties. And it's a pain in the backside. If this works, we're laughing. Not that I go to a load of parties and not that um I'm very popular, but there you go. That's the karaoke machine story. Um my speaker, 300 watt speaker, which is like a PA system, more than loud enough, more than loud enough, but this young lady at the party. Um, on that note, we were the old, so I, I sat there thinking last night, don't get me wrong, we gave them a good run for their money, don't you worry about that. But the average age of the person there, those like 35, 40s, 42, 45, I'm sort of just eating 50. <coughs> um, and the rest. So I was sat there last night and a few beers talking, was in the kitchen, in the lounge, having a bit of a dance about, mucking about. And the, their children are like, like 8, 9, 10. 11 and they're running around they're looking at us thinking oh that's nan granddad i'm thinking because the and my dad's passed away my jules parents passed away sadly so the old great grand and nanda's granddads and all that have disappeared now so they're looking at us thinking that we're the old ones i thought bloody hell it's like generations and years ago it used to be the old people sitting there me, me up well we were up dancing and drinking and that mind you we're still up dancing and drinking we're going like so we gave a few of us going a good run that money don't you worry about that but we left just after midnight as so we had a bit of an older person with us who was looking after so we had to go. And I'm glad we went, actually. Probably me, as once I've had a few drinks, I like to have more, more, more. And I've, I've had enough, to be honest with you. I'll be honest. I've had enough, and I feel great today. Well, as great as can be on a New Year's Day, after a few beers. But um, I left the youngsters. When we left, I was doing that silly dance where you all sit on the floor. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I did say to God, run the park. I'd really love to stay. I could have really stayed there until 1, 2 in the morning. I think we got out there at the right time, so I think it's going to get messy. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't be standing there talking to you now. But it's feeling like I do. So, sad we had to leave. I feel good this morning. I need to pick my karaoke gear up at some stage, or they're going to drop off, or whatever. I don't know yet. But um, I'll give them a chance to tidy up, and we can sort that out next week. It's not a problem. Um, 
I imagine they're feeling a bit rougher than I feel today myself. So unlucky, been there, done it, right? What I wanted to pop on and say was really was it's just a basic. I thought I'd wander down a bar, uh, have a basic little chit chat and a ramble. I, it's the quickest and easiest way for me to wish my family, friends, and subscribers, new and old, a happy new year. Um, this is easy. It's a little film, little video. Happy New Year. That's it. Welcome to 2023. In the kitchen last night, we was having a chat with a couple of lads and a couple of blokes said me, you know, the blokes in the kitchen, quite a large kitchen, so it's a sort of mixed party. Um, I can tell it's about to speak, wouldn't I? Um, we was having a little chat in the kitchen and someone said, oh yeah, 2023 is going to be a rough year, you know, gas is going up, electric is going up, blah, 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 blah. Um, yeah, it is going to be a rough year. And we've got a, I'm looking positive. You've got to be, every single year, you've got to be positive, right? You've got to be positive. Um, it's going to be a tough year, but if you can just get by, I know this sounds really, it might sound stupid, just, you just got, we've just all got to cut back a little bit. You know, if you have one takeaway a, a week, have one takeaway a month. You know, if you don't have any takeaways, uh, turn the lights out just that little bit sooner. You know, make sure I've got a real big habit to think about turning lights out at the moment. I'm a bit anal about it at the moment, but I'm just sort of. Um, my bar now, I mean, Jill's right, I actually got over that fridge door. My, my bar now, none of the fridges, apart of my perfect draft machine. Wedge that open. I'll do that in a minute. Apart from the perfect draft machine, the fridge is not plugged in at the moment. I don't need to, it's, it's cold down here. Um, I've got no heating on, it's insulated, but I'm not down here every day, I don't live down here. Um, so I've unplugged the fridges. This fridge is empty at the moment, my beer fridge, my um, Uflow one. My beer in the bag fridge is empty. The ink bird thing's turned off. The perfect draft switched on at the moment, but when that beer, beer is empty, when that's gone, I'll be switching that perfect draft machine off. This fridge on my left, or your right, whatever, is uh, switched off and empty. Bro. Sorry, I've just come across a bit rude, but you know. They do it on cooking shows all the time. Cooking shows, I'm telling you, they eat and they cook and eat all the time and chat, so why not? Um, just make a, an effort to turn stuff off, I think. Yeah, so. Also, excuse me, regarding heat and electric stuff like that, and bills, and mortgage rates and interest rates, etc., mortgage. Yeah, it's going to get tougher, but we have got summer coming up. So hopefully, you know, the days are getting longer again. Excuse me. The days are getting longer again. We've got summer coming up, so it's going to get warmer. So you start turning your heating down a bit, turn it off a bit more, can't we? Hopefully, get Jan, Feb out of the way. Actually, in the UK, get Jan, Feb, March, April, May out of the way. And you might get, you know, you never know. Um, I took my speaker at this party, a young lady there. So I've got an option of borrowing another speaker from a friend who's, who runs um, a gym around the corner from us. So I said, it's up to you, you know, blah, blah, So mum was a 300 watt speaker. Plenty enough for a party in your house, really. But I must admit, have a look on the internet. She went and got this, um, I think it's a JBL 1000. I think it's a JBL, is that the name? J J was it JMB? JBL? And if you look on the, on the internet, I'll tell you what, this speaker's awesome. You put a bass boost on it. I mean, you can't turn it up. There's people on the internet, on YouTube, that are saying, look, they sent you back to two of their bedrooms or the house. Um, it's a proper bit of kit. Probably means when I see something like that, I want it, I like it. I mean, it is, a, I think about 900 quid, 800, 900 quid, this one speaker. It stands like that, and it is, if you own a party in your garden or something, marquee, it is a nut. I've read reviews, but I reckon there's a smaller model, they do a 310, which is meant to be pretty cool. Um, I think it's battery operated as well, you can charge it up. And, but have a little look, oh, but, um, I don't need it, I've got a speaker, I don't really need it, it's just one of those things, it's all lights up at the front, the whole front, part of my speakers are LEDs, and you put this, I think they've got it on the flame option, it, oh, the whole, it looks, have a little look on the internet and have a little hunt about. Talking at the party last night, I was talking about youngsters and that, uh, how they look after themselves nowadays, the pubs are emptying out a little bit now, the youngsters now don't have a drink like we did in the old days, uh, this guy I was talking to says when he works, he, he works up a certain, he's a bit older now, he's 40 odd. And um, he said a lot of youngsters now in the city, they wear skin tight suits that hardly fit them. They're worried about their teeth, their hair, their, their physique and 
he said, they don't go out for beers like we used to in the old days. He said, they'll have a meeting and then they won't go out. They'll just go for dinner and go home. They don't like, you know, it's all changed now. My, my family's the same now. Us drinking people like with old school, I think. But, um, <coughs> excuse me, 2023, I want to lose a couple of pounds, not at my wallet, off my belly. But they call it a beer belly for a reason. And I do like my beer. So that's going to be a struggle. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But um, other than that, I feel okay at the moment. I feel healthish. Might do a bit of walking, back at me running. Don't think I'd do me running. I'm talking shit, actually. Um, those days are well gone. I've got my medals over there if you want to look at them, but I won't bore you with them now. Those days are gone. My days are 10k and half marathons are gone, I think. I might do a bit of walking, make a concerted effort to do a bit of walking a couple of times a week. Try and keep a little bit fitter. Lose a couple of pounds. Um, I've not made any res New Year's resolutions. I don't bother doing that because I never, there's no point. You're going to break, get stressed out of it. You're going to break them. Don't bother. Don't bother. I'm filming this, by the way, on the GoPro 11. A little Christmas present. So I've got a 9, 10, 11 GoPro now. I love those little cameras. They're not really made for this sort of thing. They're action cameras. I'm going off track now, really, but I thought I'd mention it. They're action cameras. They're not really made for this. People mind about them overheating. But um, they do every now and again, but they're meant to be moving about because you've got a tiny camera with a battery and they're getting warm. So I think it cuts out in a minute, you know why. New Year's resolutions. It, um, if, you've, if you've not made one or you have made one, I'm not really interested, but feel free to put a comment below on what your plans are for the year, really. Not New Year's resolutions, but what your plans are. What are your plans for this year? My plans, <laughs> as you're asking, or even if you're not asking, Shed Next Door, if you've seen that, if you watched that video about the Shed Next Door, my little Shed Next Door, it's going to be a little workshop. It's got a little bit of crap in there at the moment because I've filled it up from stuff from here. Clear that out. Uh, much to my son's dismay, he wasn't happy about doing it in the first place. I haven't done the comic base properly for it yet, so I've got to clear it out a little bit. Slide it forward again, which is going to be a pain in the backside. I think I'll suss that out and do that nicely now. I've got some steel bars to sit on, slide it off. Go up the concrete, got my own concrete breaker in the shed, I'll go up the concrete. Throw away some large lumps, keep the small lumps, spread it out, and I'll probably knock up some concrete myself. Um, I'll probably just do what I did around the bungalow. I've been doing, um, I'll talk to you about the bungalow in a minute. I'll probably do what I've been with doing the around the bungalow. Small batches, sand, cement, plaster. I'll use one of these um, plasters buckets, the big black bucket things, or yellow buckets, the big ones. And uh, put a bit of ballast in there. Knock up, do it gradual. I ain't got a mixer. I'm not going to get delivered with that little slab. And I've got a mixer, um, a plaster mixer thing I bought years ago. Bought that from a cheap one from uh, Screwfix in the UK. That's, that's, you get two blades of that, and that knocks up plaster, but it also knocks up like uh, adhesive and um, sand, cement, and ballast. That you've got a different blade you put on the end of that. That does that admirably. That's a good word, admirably. That does that well actually. So you put a bit of ballast in there, ready mixed stuff. Probably get some ready mixed stuff. Knock, put pour a bag in, bit of water, knock it up. Take me time, get the base done. So once the base is done, slide the shed back in place, nice and level, start insulating it. I think I'm gonna put some sound insulation in there and then board it out. Probably try and run some electrics from this bar to that bar, get some electrics in there. Then I'm gonna build my table for my machine. Then I'm gonna get the machine up and running. Where was I? So yeah, I'm gonna make the base for the shed, get the shed in position and turn it into a little workshop, put some electrics in there, make that into a little workshop, keep this nice and tidy, tidy the garden up. I'm tempted to pay out the whole garden this year. Get rid of my, I've got a tiny patch of grass. I might just pay out, slab that, and make some sort of drainage, soak away or something. I know you're not meant to, but if I make a soak away, walk and drain away, because don't, it's no point. My little garden, it's a little patch of grass. And in the summer, I think we'll get the pool out again, but we might buy a rectangular pool, so I'm gonna fit in with, you know, I think the summer's gonna get hotter. Winter's getting colder, summer's getting hotter. Um, so that's 2023. Darling Julian, well, I promise we're going to do a new bathroom. We're going to knock a bit of a wall down, stub tissue wall, go into the next bedroom because my sons are moving out really. The well, ones in America anyway. So I'm going to nick a bit of the other bedroom to make it like a walk in shower. Um, should be easy because I've got a, for Christmas, I've got a, a laser. No, not a laser. I was going to say laser level. Yeah, it is a laser level. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it laser level? Yeah, you know, the old lines, I don't know what they're called. But, so it should be easy really, shouldn't it? Everything will be level anyway. Well, as long as you stick to the lines. But um, I'll do that myself, I think, the plumbing. It's a bit of an operation because I want to change the... If you're going to do it, you've got to do it right. Um, we've got an old-fashioned cast iron stack, saw stack on the outside of the house. So that's imperial, and it's all imperial in the metric inside. It's a bit crap, so I want to 
First things first is to replace the saw stack outside the house into a plastic metric one. Up the house and pipes in and then start doing some bits and bobs. That's going to be a bit of an operation. That'll keep me busy for a few weekends, I think. Once you get going, it should be all right. I'm going to make like a, I'm going to cut or chop a bit of the wall out, which is stub petition. Take a bit of the wall out and nick a bit where we used to have an airing cover. We've got a combi board in there, so it's all gone. So where we've got the airing cover, we're going to sort of like extend that in the other room and make a room, like a walk-in shower into the, in the bathroom. I'll do a little video and film that for you, I think, little projects. Um, and we've still got a bundle on the go, so um, that's been over a year now, or about a year. Um, ongoing, George's been running well through the night. That's coming on good to bungalow. I'll take you around over the camera uh, this, as I say, next year, this year, so in a week or so. You started decorating around there a lot now. A couple of bedrooms are neon finished. Um, the weather's getting better now. We've had quotes, I think it's accepted a price to render the outside of the properties. That'll be all rendered. I think it's going to be like the monocouche, what they call it. Um, the mix up like a fire, but so it's got a bit of flexibility in it. They're going to render the whole lot. Um, we've got a company around it, they're going to do that, but the weather, you can't do that in the ice, it's got to be reasonable weather. It's just warming up now in the UK a little bit, so they're going to do that soon this year, in the next month or so, I think, do blue. That'll make the outside look a bit better now, it's a, it's a mismatch of brickwork at the moment. Uh, it's a patchwork quilt, you know, it looks like a patchwork quilt, you've got, well, the door's been blocked up, and then you've got windows that have been blocked up, and bigger windows put in, smaller windows put in, windows moved, extension on the back, the whole lot's been rendered. On the outside, make it a little bit tidy. Was going to put some cladding up the top, wood cladding. My son originally wanted to see the cladding, but we didn't want to do the maintenance on it really. So it's just going to be rendered, done. Uh, we've just got to finish off the face and soft when we get a chance. When George and I get a chance to work together, maybe tomorrow actually, if he's about, I might shoot around tomorrow. We've got to finish that off. We still haven't done that yet. We've got to do the, um, the apex bit. Done with sides, that's all right now. But we've just got to do the up, get it done. It's one, it won't half a day, day's work, be done. That's, that we've done then. But he's been around a decorator apparently, cutting in skirting ceilings and walls and that. So that's getting there. Once that's done, and then I think we've got the, um, the insulation's down on the floor in the extension now. Then it's going to be screeded, and then we've got to get a firm in the cut price to screed. I mean, stuff's so dear. The materials, I don't know about where you are, but the materials in the UK are going for the roof at the moment. So um, builders still want that bit, and then the materials want. You know, it's plaster. Someone was talking to me at the party last night about plaster was gone through the roof now. Plaster's everything's gone up and up and up. And then the builders got going to the, the clients, which are, are us basically. You know, this is dearer, that's dearer, everything's dearer. Um, so that's that. Once the floor's down, and then the kitchen can go in then. Uh, it'll be a Ren kitchen. That's going to go in there. My son works for them in America now, so I think he's going to he's designed that already. So that's going to go in. It's ready to be machined up and put in. He's going to get a friend of his to fit that, so that'd be that. Be a nice kitchen with an island. You have to have an island. I pointed out last night if you've got a nice big posh house with an island, you've got to have an island. These people with nice houses have islands, apparently. Do you know why you have an island in your kitchen? I touched this out last night, and I mentioned a couple of it last night. Beer pong. Uh, beer pong. They play kids' beer pong. What you do, I've never played it before, I played it last night. You put some cups out into your island, some cups at this end of your island, you bounce a ping pong ball up and down. You get it in the cup, you get it in their cup, they have to have a drink. And darling Julian, it was me versus Julian, and he has some normal sized plastic cups, I haven't got any at the moment, normal sized plastic cups, and then you have the little small cup at the front, small cup at the back. If it gets in a small cup at the front, or a small cup at the back, you have to have two drinks. Um, I think you meant to have shots, whiskey, rum, gin or whatever, but we had wine last night, which wasn't too bad. So darling Julian, my balls were bouncing left, right and centre. Uh, <laughs> That's when I was dancing. But um, they were, my ping pong balls were going off skew with. I don't know if the island was, I don't know if it fit the island, but uh, maybe the island weren't level. Anyway, Jill got a bloody ball in my bloody um, plastic little cup. I had double wine, didn't I? Double wine. So I was down the two wines. That's, uh, that got me going. And to be fair, I feel all right today. I had a couple of beers. I didn't mix. I wasn't eating the vodkas, gins, whiskies, nothing like that, which I've done in the past. Just a few lagers. And he actually done me a favour because I took a, he had loads of beers anyway and he bought me some a box, a selection box of beers. He said, oh, you use come around Johnny Boy because I bought a selection box of beers. I said, to be fair with you, it gives me a bit of gout, I think. I get a bit of gout in my toe and my foot. Um, I've never mentioned that before, near before, by the way. It's pain, it flick, freaking hurts. And uh, if you watch my turkey videos, you can see me limping and I didn't realise it's gout. And long story, I won't bore the story. Anyway. anyway, so I'm trying to cut back and drink more water, etc. And I know it sounds sad, but I've just gone back to drinking Fosters again. I know people can tell me, Mick, I haven't been drinking Fosters, but 
I've been drinking all my bloody life. It's weak as you like, I and mean, it suits me. It tends, if I ever go on the Guinnesses or different real owls and beers, it tends to, I've, well, tell a lie, it's moderation. I'm lying, actually. I can drink whatever I want in moderation. But it's when I sort of like eat, drink eight or ten Guinnesses, it's, uh, it don't do me any favours. But ten or eight Fosters don't do me any favours. But done me a favour last night, the guy, because uh, <coughs> he had some Fosters there. Box of, oh, I bought some Fosters, I bought his beers for you, John. And they got Fosters, oh, great. And I took a box for everyone, took beers and bottles of drink. And um, done me a favour, because uh, I kept looking in the fridge, how many Fosters have got? I only had two cans of Fosters. I couldn't find So I ended up drinking bottles, which a friend of mine does, which is a good little trick. So what you do, you go out and you drink. Uh, you drink, for instance, a little bottle of beer, right? So you drink one of them. So while everyone's drinking pints, you're drinking bottles of beer. So I'm, I'm in the fridge last night, drinking down, not this particular beer, mine, it's probably bloody out of date now. So I'm in the fridge last night, I couldn't find my fosters anyway. I thought, oh, junk a bit, because there's a lot of younger people there. And I thought, bastards, really, I'll set my beer. Anyway, excuse my language. So I thought, right, okay, my fosters are gone. Couldn't find them anywhere. And so I'll drink these bottles, which does you a favour because you have four or five of these, you've only had a couple of beers, you've only had a couple of pints. So I'm thinking I'm down in loads, and a lot, but I'm only drinking sort of these little things. Near the end of the night, I had a chat, go, oh, yeah, oh. He went, I said, where'd you get Foster's from? I don't know, out the back. What do you mean, out the back? Like, so the fridge was in the corner, and there's a back patio door, he's left them out on the table out the back garden. Boxes and boxes of beer out, wouldn't there? Well, but in a way, it done me a favour because, uh, well, I, I, I sort of ended up drinking less. Or did I? I don't know. Or did I just drink more of these? I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> Good night out. Music's brilliant. Character's brilliant. And I'll tell you what worked really well in the end, actually, when we was all sort of drunk dancing. Uh, turned the karaoke off, but I left the speaker on and the mics, we had the wireless mics we used, which ran through the PA system. And then they had their big thousand watt speaker thing in the corner. We were sort of singing a bit of Wonderwall, a bit of Oasis or whatever. And uh, it was worked out bloody well, actually. I had to look at the up my phone for half the songs, but um, let's put this beer back. So anyway, <coughs> there's a Guinness there, look. Took that Guinness. So, so basically, that was my night out. Um, music's good, great party. I'm waiting for the call today to go and pick my gear up, or they're going to drop it off, I don't know, but you can wait till next week, doesn't bother me. I've got remote control coming through, so hopefully I'm going to rip the CDs to uh, the USB stick. Um, hopefully that works. If you're any of my friends or family watching this and you want to buy me karaoke stuff any time, just come around and pick it up. Message me and come around and pick it up. It's not a problem. That's me. That's me being Mr. Nice Guy for 2023. But I've said that before. Come and pick up a speak and the bits and bobs. It's, you know, it's, it's sitting there doing nothing. I don't rent it out or anything. So if you ever want to borrow it, obviously it gets damaged. You pay for the damage. But some, um, yeah, great party. So... Comment below what you want to do. I might even pick up a guitar this year, 2023, because someone mentioned it last night about it. Can you still play guitars? Yeah, I'll play a few calls, but um, I might pick up a guitar. Getting it's all about time. Got to do the bathroom. Oh, the, so the bungalow should be complete this year. Got to do the bathroom upstairs and the bedroom. Be a little ongoing project. Um, we've got a little bit of shelving down here to do when I get a chance. That's not a massive job. Bit of shelving because I want to put the karaoke machine there. Um, that's about it. Ah. Oh, Holidays, right, okay, we're all cutting back, we're all a bit broke, yes, we know that, I don't know the fortunes. Getting back to that, youngsters, right, if you are a youngster watching this, well, I looked at the stats, so there's not many people who listen to my videos, watch these videos, so they don't want to listen to some old kid droning on, do they? Um, in actual fact, my one of my darling sisters was quoted as saying, um, John's got a great voice for video, he sends people to sleep. And I took that as a compliment, initially, and then, when I sort of read it back to myself this morning before I came down here, I thought, John's got a lovely voice for video, he sends people to sleep. And I wonder if she was, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, take it, I'll take that as a compliment. I don't think I should anyway. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I believe I've, I've, I've spotted some Diet Coke stuff the other night, actually. I need a, I need a live from the people. I need a live now. And I'm going to go and sit down and chill out. Fuck. Oh, excuse me, I'm going to swear there. I'm going to... Mess about. Well, I need a glass. I need a glass. Got not no normal glasses down here. They're all bleeding pint glasses, mind you. That's clean. Might yoke more than Essex. Um, put in the comments below what you're up to this year. I'd be interested. Oh, the other thing I was going to mention. 
Definitely going to rejo rejoin the fishing club. I sort of joined it a bit late last year. We didn't get go to get out. My mate Michael and I didn't get out to go. And I've got a few guys at work. I work. Um, we go with. They're all going to rejoin. I think. I know it's a hundred pound, but if you're out there watching, seriously, if there's a fishing club near you. Try and get on the membership. Um, you just go, it's free. It's quite. I know it's a hundred pound, but it's, you know, once you've paid that, you just go. You go when you want. You know, fishing is getting dearer and dearer and dearer now. But once you've got the stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Once you've got all the gear and the bits and bobs, and once you've paid that membership, because I think day tickets now, or day tickets. Let me explain. If you don't know what a day ticket. A day ticket basically, you go to the fishing lake. It's a day ticket water, day ticket lake. So you pay like, and a bloke comes around. What they call a bailey or a bloke comes around who owns the water. He says, right, you're fishing for how many hours? Or ten hours, or whatever. The day or the night. So say it's a day ticket. It might cost you nowadays fifteen quid. Uh, some places want like more or less or whatever. You know, and if you're there with your son your daughter or whoever or friend it adds up and then if you want to fish overnight excuse my phone keep going off if you're there overnight let me just turn it off sorry i'll be back in a minute oh god um yeah so it, it adds up but once you get your fish gear if you buy so i mentioned it last night i think they want me to chase up membership for them uh once you're a member of this club i think it's 100 pounds or 120 or whatever for the year, it isn't bad, you can go when you want. I didn't go as much as I could have done or should have done last year, I was busy. We didn't join, my friend, myself and my mate, joined near the end of the year. The weather turned a bit and I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't go out in this sort of weather really. I, I have been known to, but somebody load the car up and I like to go overnight now. And um, yeah, it's good. If you can join a club, try and join a club, if, if you, especially if you've got like, some daughter you want to take, you, you're laughing really. Um, it just means you can go when, as a when. You've got to get a fishing license as well. I think a 15 quid, I can't remember, on, online. Go on the government website. Um, but if you can join a club, if you're into fishing, join a club. It's the best thing. I, I did it years and years ago with my two sons when they were younger. I've done it again, again last year. I've got to renew uh, this in March, I think, this year. And I will renew. Um, the reason being is you can just go as and when you want. Finish work early, don't shoot over there, nice weather or, you know. And you got most clubs have about. I mean, I think the club I'm in, the club I'm a member of, has got like I don't know, ten, ten lakes you can fish and bits of rivers you can fish. So, so I'll be joining the fishing club again, and I'll be doing a few more fishing videos. The kayak didn't take it out once last year. What did I? No, I don't have to get it once. It went so quick. And um, when it was hot, when I mean, we had the hot summer, I was in the garden in the pool. I couldn't be. It's too bloody hot to go out. You know, you can't win, can you? So, a bit of kayaking this year. I want to get that CNC machine up in the workshop, up and running, knocking out a few bits and bobs as well. Um, I think that's it. I think I've covered 2023 for me. What are you up to? Put up a little message below. Um, keep an eye out for some more videos coming up soon. It'll be a little bit of fishing. Get the workshop done and built. I'll be doing the bathroom indoors. I might film that. And now I'm going to play about the old karaoke machine. Build a little shelf in unit here, I think. I'm not sure if that's going to be scaffold boards or just an MDF. I might just have an MDF shelf. A bit thinner. You know, too much scaffold board, can't they? have got tons in here. I wonder how much they are length now. That'd be interesting. I think I paid thirteen pound a length. I used old scaffold boards originally, second hand off. Uh, someone sent them on eBay. But then I started buying new ones. You can go down to home in the UK. You go down to home base and places like that. They sell them off the shelf. I think a thirteen foot scaffold board. Or whatever long they are. I think it's thirteen quid. I'm having a little look actually. See how much they are on there. See if they've gone up in price. It's a nice bit of wood, the old scaffold. Scaffold board. Um. I think that'll do for now, people. I don't know to send you all to sleep. <coughs> Let me know what you're up to this year. I'll go and fiddle about with this video. I've got, as I said, I'm using GoPro film. I'm filming this with a GoPro. I've got the 9, 10, 11 now, but I might sell one of them. I've got a new gadget coming for a new handle for the uh, GoPro, which I'll probably do an unboxing video on that. I'm one of the first people to buy it, but I've not received it yet. Because it's stuck in the Great British Postal Service or Every, or used to be Hermes, which is a couple of, probably two of the worst postal services in the UK at the moment. If you're in the UK, do a search on Every and the postage going missing and parcels found in, in the woods, that's disgusting. Uh, we've had about three or four parcels going missing this year. Um, final note, yeah, I'll put a little message below. Um, Christmas was ruined a little bit by some toss up Nick, my son's car outside our house, a uh, blue Ford Fiesta. Uh, registration LG64XTH, I do believe. 
Um, it's probably been and gone now, stripped down in bits or sold or, or gone on some containing ship somewhere abroad now, but it was, uh, it was all paid for. Pissed me right off, pissed the family right off. And it, was a, it was two days before, well, it was a day before Christmas Eve. Not the best start of Christmas. Someone out there at the shoot had a bang that's completely gone. Um, it's, if you've had something stolen like that before, it's heart wrenching, it's gutting. One minute's there, one minute's not. There's no explanation, no, no one on camera, it's just gone. And uh, a couple of vehicles in the air have been stolen lately. It's not just us. I mean, we've had brand new Range Rovers around the corner have been stolen. Um, we've got these electronic gadgets. Why they make cars now that you can, problem is with electronics, if you, it's like hacking, anything can be, anything can be hacked. You can't beat a good old fashioned lock, right? For a padlock or something. It should have, you should have a crook lock on your car with just a deterrent. Um, then why should you? When you're paying good money for a vehicle, why should you have like a crook lock and all that on there? I mean, the car companies, it stands to reason if you've got an electronic lock, it can be electronically un unopened, really. <clears throat> It's just bloody obvious, I suppose, but people want convenience, don't they? And, and the manufacturers don't really give two monkeys. The police haven't visited us at all. They sent me some a letter. Um, I must admit, when my my old, years ago, my old Ford Galaxy, I left it open, actually. They went inside, rummaged through it, and they was round them a couple of days later looking for cameras, footage. Um, it would have been nice if the police had turned up within a couple of days and sort of knocked on neighbours' doors, asked for footage. Would have been handy, but no sign of the police in the area. My son got a letter for the other day, really sorry about your car. Here's your crime number, that's it. See you later. Insurance have to pay out, and that's why insurance premiums are so bloody dear. But um, what annoys me a little bit, it's, it's organised gangs and organised criminals that are doing this. It's not just a kid on the street nicking a car. They're proper gangs being sent out. Um, they could be like people smuggling top characters. They're, they're drug smuggling top characters. They're raising money for arms or whatever they're doing. You know, I don't know. I'm not into all that. I'm not. I just see bits and pieces on TV, but. It's not just some little scrape around the corner nicking it for a joyride like the old days. You know, they've organised gangs and, you know, I'm hoping the police phone up one day to look what you found in your car, blah, 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 but it's, I don't think it's going to happen. But uh, we're putting insurance claim through and it's all going through at the moment. But it's just a pain in the backside. Uh, I know a friend of mine at works had his one nick the other week with all this fish gear in the back. So uh, another pain in the backside. It's all, your, it's all your personal belongings and stuff in there. My son said he had bits and bobs in the boot and on the passenger seat and that. It's just your personal stuff. Not a nice thing to happen, especially around Christmas time. At the, at the best of times, you know, so I'm not happy about that. I think the red, light blue uh, Fiesta, <clears throat> it's a nice model. We, we drove miles to pick that one up. My son hunted high and over that. It's that real nice blue, the full blue, light blue. Well, I wouldn't say it's light blue, uh, metallic. It's a nice colour. It's got the sat nav, all the, all the bits of bobs in it. Now, we hunted high and over, he hunted high and over that. I drove him miles to go and get that. And there was only two at the time, there's only two for sale these garages. Um, LG 64 XTH. If you do hear of anything out there, you never know your luck. <clears throat> or you see one going cheap, let me know. Yeah, finish the video on a sad note. So that's that. So that car's gone. Onwards and upwards, eh? Move forward. If you're out there, scumbags that nicked it, um, hope you die a slow, lonely, sad death, really. Thank you for watching, people. Anything else to mention before I shoot off? Karaoke machine, bedroom, workshop, bungalow. My little bar, am I going to do some lives down here? Yeah, I think I will. A little bit of show whenever record play, I've got to do that. That's nothing, that's more than, more than this job. Um, I think I'll tell you what I will do. I'm going to sort these beers out. Some of these have been here too long. They might be out of date, I reckon. And, um, those peanuts have got to go. Oh, <laughs> your daughter sent me a video earlier. We've got a family group, like a WhatsApp group. I took little Max out for walks. He's my little grandchild. You've probably seen my grandson in some of the videos. He's a gorgeous little fella, two years old the other week. And uh, he's running down the park, and there's just this puddle. Just, just, this thing just runs straight into it. And then he runs, turns around to my daughter, smiles, and walks down and runs back into the puddle, starts jumping. That Peppa Pig, if you've heard of Peppa Pig, you know, about jumping in muddy puddles, blah, blah, blah. He's got a lot of... But all these kids copy Peppa Pig. They think it's great jumping in puddles. Bless him. <laughs> if you can't jump in puddles, what can you do, eh? Happy New Year, people. Have a good one. Um, stay safe. And as I said earlier, if you didn't go out, it doesn't matter if you went out to a party or if you stayed in. As long as you're happy, healthy, and you feel great today. And, yeah, we've all got money worries or whatever. Don't worry about it. Hold tight. And um, let's look forward to this year, shall we? Summer's on its way, days are getting longer. You assume you're moaning about the sun, oh, it's too hot, it's too hot, I can't sleep. 
I love the summer. Nine, ten o'clock at night, it's still light out. God. Ah, holidays this year. We're still going to go on a couple of little holidays, I think, this year. Jill and I plan to go to, I think we want to get back out to Turkey with the family. And um, I think we're going to go to America in a couple of months' time. We're going to go to New York for a week to visit my son who's, who's, moved, who's moved out there, or he's sort of moved out there. We, we pretend he hasn't, but he has, but I don't know. He's working out anyway. So he's, going to, he's got a company car out there, and he's going to um, pick us up and drive us around. So um, I can't wait to take the video camera with me and do some low little videos. For, well, nearly not know, I'll get excited. Can't wait to take the camera out with me and do a load of little videos for people. And, and I've never, ever been to America. I mean, that's probably going to be the furthest flight I've ever done. Um, I'm not Mr. Long Haul at all. I'm a me, Mallorca boy, me. <laughs> Mallorca and Spain through and through. Um, so I'm looking forward to going to America. I really am looking forward to going to America. It's going to be a proper, proper big holiday there. Only a week. Um, we shall stop tall, really. I think we sort of could go to New York. I can't remember what I said now. New York for a couple of days. Somewhere else, somewhere else. Philadelphia, I think. I oh, know. Driving around. A bit of visiting a few bits of bars and that. And can't wait to go to an American, proper American bar. So you can't do the old, uh, <laughs> show myself up my American accent or something, you know? Right, okay. Happy New Year, people. Have a good one. Please put some comments below um, on what you're up to this year. If you've got a little bar, then you go on and crack on with it. This is a, I mean, it's quite a nice day out there, crack on with it. Get your memorabilia. My daughter's down the other day, so, wow, you got some stuff in here. Full of memorabilia. Um, here's, what we got? Have we got any football this year coming up? Premier League, I suppose. Uh, got any World Cup? No. I didn't have anyone down the World Cup this year. It's the wrong time of year. It's good. I enjoyed the World Cup. We've done all right, but didn't have anyone down my bar at all. No one. I just stayed in. I watched the last two games indoors. A couple of beers. Just anti-climax as usual, wasn't it? I love the Euros the other year. It's better. When everyone's down this bowl, the tent up with Marquee up. Marquee, gazebo. I've rambled enough people. Happy New Year and uh, until next time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.